Hi everyone, my name is Leah Buskey. I'm the founder and CEO of a company called TaskRabbit. TaskRabbit is an online web and mobile marketplace where you can go to outsource small jobs and errands to other people in your neighborhood. What I'm here to talk with you about today is how we're, how we're going from social networking to a service networking platform and how we're redefining who our neighbors are. So what is a neighborhood? Since the beginning of time, people have formed neighborhoods. And typically, this formation has been around physical proximity uh, or personal spaces. But that's changing. Suddenly, you can define your neighborhood by your interests or your dynamic location, or maybe even the time of day that you're most active. What I want to challenge you all with today is open your mind and consider redefining what a neighborhood is and who your neighbors are. We're on the brink of a massive redefinition of community and there are new tools and technologies available that are helping our neighborhoods evolve. Let me take you back to the origin of the TaskRabbit story. It was a cold winter night in Boston, February of 2008. My husband and I were getting ready to go out to dinner and we had called a cab to come pick us up. When we realized we were out of dog food and we have this 100 pound yellow lab na here named Kobe. And my husband is also in technology and so we always have these really geeky conversations in the house and that night it turned into, wouldn't it be nice if there was just a place online we could go, say we needed dog food, name the price we were willing to pay. We are certain there was someone in our own neighborhood that would be willing to help us out. Even before the cab came to pick us up that night, I had started to map this whole vision for TaskRabbit in my head. And that's the exact time and place that this idea for service networking was born. At the time, I was a software engineer at IBM. I had been a programmer there for the last seven years, but I was so captivated by this idea for TaskRabbit, and I, I was thinking about how do we use the internet to actually get off the internet and build stronger communities together? The core question was, how do we go from social networking into service networking? And four months later, I quit my job at IBM to build the first version of the TaskRabbit site. Now, as I started to think about and develop the idea further, I realized there were some really interesting technologies out there that could help us make a shift from a global network to a local tool. Facebook and Twitter were really popular, and there's these underlying social graphs and components that we can leverage to connect people together. Location-based platforms like Foursquare and Gowalla were really up and coming. And all of a sudden, you could see where people were in real time and their dynamic locations changing. Mobile platforms. Everyone walks around with their mobile device. And at any given time, you can instantly connect with anyone in the world. These three technologies, social, location, and mobile, all provided the core infrastructure around this service networking concept. Technology gives us global access to people all over the world. But we can also leverage technology to facilitate a connection offline. And the key is to use technology to build efficiency and trust into the network. Let me give you a little further context on how we're building TaskRabbit as a service networking platform. Here's a really quick example. So you go to TaskRabbit, and you get to name the price you're willing to pay to have a job done. You put in a little description. At that point, your job is posted on the TaskRabbit site. And other people are alerted. We call them task rabbits. They get real-time alerted, and within minutes, bids start rolling in on your job. You get to review profiles, ratings, and reviews. Uh, our task rabbits earn points and badges and level up on the site. You get to decide who you want to work with and get tasking away. Now, for an added level of safety and security on the platform, all of our task rabbits go through a vetting process. That includes an online application, an uh, interview or phone screen, and a series of background checks. And all of this is automated through the technology that we've built with this service networking platform. So you know, we've been, we've been running the site now in Boston and San Francisco. We just opened Los Angeles and Orange County this week. And we've learned a lot of interesting things about connecting people in neighborhoods. For instance, the typical response time between having a task posted on the site and a task rabbit responding is under 10 minutes. And we can do this so quickly because we're using dynamic locations in mobile alerting platforms to get people the information they need and then allow them with their mobile device to upload a bid. 
Some of our top TaskRabbits have cashed out up to $5,000 a month just doing TaskRabbit tasks. And this is so exciting for me uh, as the founder because it really is enabling this platform for micro entrepreneurship. These TaskRabbits have become their own entrepreneurs. They're saying what their skills are, how much they want to get paid and earned, and they have special, you know, specialties that they can share with other people in their neighborhoods. So we've really created this platform that enables micro entrepreneurship. When I started this company back in Boston in 2008, uh, I thought, you know, Boston's a great college town. I'm going to get all kinds of college students involved, and they're going to want to run these tasks. I was wrong from the very beginning. There's such a wide variety of people that want to be involved as task rabbits. We have some college students. We have stay-at-home moms that are out running their own errands anyway and don't mind picking things up for people. We have young professionals that love the idea of just kind of supplementing their own incomes nights and weekends. And then we have this amazing group of retirees that have all these experiences and skills to share. And their motivation is different. They love the idea that they can connect with someone else in their neighborhood, and they really feel the value of helping someone else out. In fact, our 60-plus demo of TaskRabbits on the site actually makes up a very significant portion of the overall network. So can anyone guess what the most popular task posted might be? What was this right here? Dry cleaning's pretty popular. Beer? Eh, sort of. Anyone else? Moving is very popular. Let me give you a hint, though. It uh, has to do, we've all been there, and we've all put it together wrong at least once. Ideas. Yes. <laughs> that was really good. I'm so impressed. <laughs> IKEA Furniture Assembly is one of the most popular jobs posted on TaskRabbit. <laughs> we all love IKEA, but you know, we all have challenges in putting the furniture together. So the service is incredibly practical, but there's also a really powerful underlying dimension that goes far beyond just tasks, small jobs, and errands. Let me tell you my favorite story. So there's this mom here in San Francisco, and she has a 20-year-old son living in Boston. Fortunately, her son was going through chemotherapy treatment at Mass General Hospital, and she couldn't be there to be with him. So she went onto the TaskRabbit website, she said, I need someone to go visit my son every day in the hospital for a week. Bring him a cozy blanket, bring him a healthy meal, and sit with him for 30 minutes and just see how he's doing. And then call me afterwards every single day and give me the update. The bond that these two moms formed across the country was amazingly powerful. And it proves that what we've built with this service network goes far beyond just small jobs, simple tasks, and errands. We're redefining who your neighbors are. So the TaskRabbit service network is part of this larger trend happening on the web called collaborative consumption. And there's an immense amount of companies out there that are building these peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces that are connecting people to share things. So maybe they're sharing rides or swapping clothing or renting out their personal spaces. The key to the success to any one of these peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces is being able to leverage technology to build efficiency and trust into the model. Think back 10 years ago. There was probably a kid in your neighborhood you could uh, throw a couple bucks to, and maybe he would wash your car or mow your lawn. And we've lost a sense of that community. But we're able to bring it back by leveraging technology to redefine who your neighbors are. You know, it's funny. The other day, I was talking to a TaskRabbit customer, and she had just had her first uh, task done, and it was groceries delivered. And she said, you know, this was the first time in a long time that I had actually learned the name of someone else in my neighborhood. Because the task rabbit that delivered the groceries lived, you know, two blocks down the street. So this is a venture that's packed with business potential, but there's also such an important social dimension as well. In closing, uh, I'm an engineer turned entrepreneur, and I was just so captivated by this idea for TaskRabbit and this idea for a service network that I knew that it was an important innovation for humankind. One of my earliest mentors uh, is Scott Griffith, who's the CEO of Zipcar, and he said something very pivotal, pivotal to me early on, even before I quit my job at IBM. He said, Leah, I love your idea for TaskRabbit. I think you're onto something 
I think you should see how far you can take it. And that's what I strive to do continually on a daily basis. And I just want to encourage you all, if you're passionate about something or have an idea that you want to follow, to take the leap as I did, as Kobe here did, and see how far you can take it as well. Thank you.